Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of SVN on board. We are in Punta Ala, Tuscany. It's a beautiful day, although it's almost Christmas. And uh, we are the guests of Race Nautica, uh, headed by Giovanni Tarantino, uh, who provided us with the boat we want to talk about today. An exciting new sail yacht called Solaris 40. Uh, it was just uh, presented at Cannes in September 2021. And uh, like uh, all the boats designed by the Italian shipyard Solaris, it is a performance boat which combines comfort with speed. Speaking of a performance boat, I would like to mention a few aspects of uh, the structure, uh, starting with the hull. The hull is made of e-fiberglass, so high quality fiberglass and with vinyl ester resin and the core is a uh, closed cell material called Erex. Now this is true of course for the hull and the deck except for the wet surface which is solid uh, fiberglass. So what we have is basically a boat that is very strong, very stri stiff uh, and at the same time manages to keep the weight down and that of course improves uh, performance. Uh, another important structural aspect is the keel. Uh, the keel is a classic torpedo shape uh, performance uh, keel with a lead bulb. And the fin, however, is cast iron. Of course, cast iron is lighter than lead, and so this manages to keep the center of gravity low. And so again, we have a lighter uh, boat. And there are many high quality uh, aspects of the boat and we don't have the space uh, to talk about everything but uh, well let's mention for example the through hulls. The through hulls are also stainless steel, very well designed and uh, they're not uh, brass as uh, in many industrial uh, boats and as you know brass is more prone to corrosion so again this is an important uh, safety uh, feature of the boat. But to learn more about the boat we have with us Giovanni Tarantino, as we said, the head of Race Nautica. Race Nautica is the dealer for Solaris for the entire Tyranium and the islands, with the exception of Liguria. So, let's, without further ado, let's go and talk to him. Follow me. So, we are at the stern of the boat with Giovanni Tarantino. Ciao, Giovanni. Ciao, buongiorno. Ciao. Uh, Giovanni Tarantino is the head of Race Nautica and they told me a story, the name Race comes from uh, the gare, no? Race, right? Okay, and uh, because Giovanni used to participate in regattas, sometimes he still does, but he also used to be uh, the person who optimized boats for races. So that's where the name comes from and that's why Giovanni is particularly qualified to talk about uh, a performance boats like the Solaris 40. So, uh, Giovanni, uh, we talked about the structure of the boat, the hull, the keel. Uh, tell us something more about the uh, quality aspects of the boat and the technical aspects. Parlaci un po' degli aspetti qualitativi e tecnici di questa barca. Let's start with the teak. Solaris uses premium teak assembled with no visible joints, so the planking looks like it's one piece from boat astern. This makes the deck look much better and gives a distinctive quality ad feeling angolo, to the boat. Okay. Talking about quality, we can see how this cockpit is carefully finished. Every corner, every locker has its own teak frame. It's very nice. Then there are other small things, such as under this block where we see a stainless steel plate, so that the block does not scratch the gunnel. Protezione inox per evitare che sbatta il bozzello sulla, sulla barca. Check out also at the fuel tank nozzles. They are not on the deck, as is usually the case, but on the gunnel. This ensures that in the event of a spill, the diesel does not end up on the deck, but in the drain that runs along the edge of the deck. Then we have a hydraulic backstay tensioner that is standard on the boat. So uh, a lot of attention to details, as we can see. Uh, so uh, what about the technical aspect? Uh, you already mentioned the backstay. Uh, quali altri aspetti tecnici oltre al paterazzo? As you can see, there is a mainsail traveler recessed under the deck, which allows you to fine tune of the mainsail and have better control of the sail. This boat belongs to a new generation of Solaris as well the 60 that will be followed by the 50 in a short time. You can see that in the way the walkways and benches are not as long. This makes it possible to go between the bench and the helm wheel to get to the walkway, instead of having to climb on the benches. 
To make it easier there is also a step. This new design means that if there is a big wave and you're sitting at the wheel, it won't be directed upward and hit you. Instead the water will flow below you in a way without getting you wet. Okay. Uh, tell us something about the wheels. Farci un po' anche dei timoni. I timoni, come vedete, la timoneria. As you can see, the two wheels are very distanced. They are have been moved more to the side, and this allows you to have an excellent view of the sails even if the spray hood is up. This is also useful when you return to port. In this case, you will have a perfect view of the front of the boat. Anche quando rientro in porto, io vedo benissimo da davanti. Sì, sì. Okay. Beh, prima parlare a lungo. We could talk a lot about this boat because there are so many things to say. I want to talk about the inside of the boat, but I'm not going to do it with you, right? Non parlo con te degli interni. No, dentro trovi. Inside you will find Michaela Bravo of Race Nautica, my collaborator who can show you the inside of the boat. Posso spiegare la barca. Okay, Giovanni, ci vediamo dopo. Grazie. Ciao. Grazie, grazie. So we saw the outside of the Solaris 40 uh, with Giovanni Tarantino and now we're here with Michaela Bravo. Hi Michaela. Hi Gavin. Who also works for uh, Race Nautica and is going to talk about the interiors. Uh, Michaela, two things uh, I noticed when we were talking that are uh, interesting are, well, one, this bulkhead over here, uh, which uh, as uh, we were saying is made not of wood but of uh, uh, fiberglass with of course a core that means it's very strong but also very light and that helps uh, lower the center of gravity. And the other thing is uh, these portholes which are in uncommon in the fact that they are uh, tempered glass and not plexiglass so they are very transparent and will stay so over time they won't scratch uh, they're resistant to scratches. So, uh, having said that, uh, your turn. Okay. Talk about the rest. Okay, so Gabriel, as you can see, the saloon has a double uh, sofa. Right. And we have a lot of space inside the, uh, the, yeah, the saloon. Yeah, especially for a 40 foot boat, right? Oh, yes. Okay. And moreover, uh, the standard color is oak, and but uh, the, ca the customer col could also choose for tech, uh, tech, uh, tech colors. Yeah, you're saying. Moreover, we have uh, the chair table uh, oriented uh, towards uh, the bow, so it means uh, that uh, the person who likes to do the chart, uh, they can uh, know uh, the moving of the boat. And uh, uh, we have uh, a uh, kitchen, the, ki the kitchen uh, with uh, L shape. Yes. And uh, one of the particular things uh, it is this foldable table that can give that one okay. that one that can give you uh, more space uh, for for, for, for working cooking. for cooking. Okay, so that's the galley. And what about the two aft cabins? Okay, the two aft cabins, uh, as you can see, are twin and uh, are quite big compared to the aft cabins of of, of the competitors. And uh, for this about of this length, right. yes. yes, okay. And uh, there is a lot of uh, light uh, inside thanks to the portals. Uh, uh, and uh, there is also a lot of fresh air because there is some opening hatches. Okay, great. Um, so uh, you mentioned there are twin cabins. This is one layout uh, actually, and you can have two ca aft cabins and of course the front cabin with two bathrooms. And that is the actual layout we have here or you can have the standard layout which is three cabins Cabin, uh, one bathroom, bathroom which would be this bathroom yes. right but and you also mentioned the third layout there is uh, the last one the layout it is a uh, two cabin two bathroom it means that uh, this bathroom uh, becomes uh, uh, bigger because we have a separate shower mm -hmm. but uh, we lose uh, the aft cabins uh, and we uh, have uh, a storage uh, outside yes so right. more more space uh. right okay so now let's move to the front cabin okay. and let's talk let's about go. that so Gabriel, as you can see, the master cabin on this boat is quite big. We have this uh, island bed and in my opinion, uh, one of the most uh, uh, beautiful things for a boat of this size, uh, it is that uh, the owner of the boat uh, can sleep uh, with the head uh, towards the bow. Right, more and comfortable. And as you can see, uh, there is a lot of space, uh, most, a lot of storage, and uh, here underneath oh, the bed... Okay, I was wondering where this extra storage was. We have now a we separated uh, storage. We have also these one, two, three, four, five, six uh, lockers, lots of storage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about the bathroom? As you can see, it is quite big uh, for uh, both of these size. Absolutely, yes. And of course, there's a porthole up. Very, very nice. And the possibility to have uh, the separate shower. Oh, okay, great. I think that's about it for the interiors. Uh, shall we go outside again? Yes, let's go. Okay. okay. 
Giovanni, I'm back. Thank so, you. we were uh, under the boat with Micaela Bravo. She explained everything. Great quality, the furniture, the galley. Very, very nice. Thank you. Thank okay. You. But now, well, this is a boat. We want to see how well it sails. Okay. Can I try it? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so what are we doing here? We have 14 knots of wind. We have the main sheet, uh, the main sail, and the generator, and we're doing 7.5. Uh, which is, I think, uh, pretty good. Uh, we went up to nine knots uh, before, and that was, again, with uh, 50 knots. And uh, so I think, uh, all in all, uh, great sailing. Uh, and in terms of the motor, we did uh, seven knots at 2,000 RPMs. Again, I think that's pretty good cruising speed. Okay, uh, something about uh, sail plan, let's ask Giovanni. Giovanni, dici qualcosa del piano velico. We now have the mainsail up. 57 square meters of mainsail, plus the Genneker. With mainsail and Genoa, we would have a total of 100 square meters. Okay, so that is the sail plan of the boat. So I think, well, great boat, uh, all aspects, quality, uh, comfort, and especially, I mean, the uh, uh, sailing qualities are, are absolutely excellent. Uh, the wheel is, is great. We have a twin uh, rudder. It's very, very sensitive. Uh, but also very easy to maneuver. So, great wheels, and it's all in all a great uh, sailing boat. Okay, the sun is going down, time to wrap it up. I want to thank Giovanni Tarantino thank for uh, having us and uh, for this great experience. Uh, this is indeed a great boat, especially in terms of sailing, quality, and comfort too. So, absolutely great. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let us know by clicking on like. If you want to, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link in the first comment. You will receive our free digital magazine and our special articles. That's about it. So goodbye from SVN Network. I'm Gabriel Poole.